everybody, David Mays here, and this is Amazing Life. I am here in lovely, warm Jacksonville, Florida. Got the Moto Photo Adventure guys with me, Jason and Chris. I appreciate you guys inviting me along this, this deal. This is not my gig. Oh, it is. But too. I'm happy to be here, so. It's a 100% partnership. <laughs> so I'm really happy to be here. They have got a route plan that's gonna take us around Florida in order to show us like some of the more photographic areas of Florida. I'll be honest with you, I've not been to Florida a lot um, from an adventure type standpoint, as far as just exploring. I usually come down here for a conference or I come here, there's always a purpose, right? And so this is looking pretty fun. We're also heading down to Key West. I've never been there. Have you guys ever been there? I have not. I've been to Florida, my, all the way to Miami, but never crossed. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about hitting Key West. guys. It was only, it just feels like it was only just yesterday that I was digging myself out of snow. Oh wait, it was yesterday that I was digging myself out of snow. So <laughs> what a shift and what a, what, what a change in latitude can, yeah, can do. Yeah. Latitude and attitude, right? So anyway, this is gonna be a cool trip. Here we go. Uh, but before we get started with the warmth, I kinda wanna show you a little bit about what it took to get here. Here we go. bad. Well, I guess now's a good time to say welcome to another episode of Amazing Life. Oh, jeez. Not a Jeep. And not typical weather that you would expect to be leaving on a motorcycle trip. But I have been given the opportunity to go and meet up with Moto Photo Adventures. And those guys have invited me to go with them on an eight day adventure down to Key West and back on what they're calling the sunburn circuit. Now, I would not exactly call this sunburn weather hoping that it will warm up as I go south. Once I get down off the mountain, actually all of this snow should be gone. So I know it's a, it's a pretty short, uh, pretty short issue of what I'm dealing with here. Uh, it is a little sketchy in this, where the, the shade has been because some of the ice is still here, but it should be smooth after I get going and I'm making it down to Savannah, Georgia tonight and got a little care package I'm delivering my son who's going to college down there. And then from there, I'm gonna meet up with the guys tomorrow morning and we'll begin our adventure. So I'm happy to have you along the way 
and Key West or bus, baby. Let's go. All right, so here's how I prepare for winter riding. Uh, I do have some heated gear, not not an extensive amount. I've got heated hand grips, which are amazing because that's like what's in the in the wind the most. The GS, because your arms are out, you tend to uh, pick up more air under your arms uh, than you would on, on other op uh, other bikes. Uh, so I, I do remember switching from the RT to the GS that, that there is a lot more wind there. I've got a heated vest that I've had for now 24 years. It's a BMW motorcycle branded vest and uh, it's been outstanding. Plugs directly into the into the outlet there and just keeps on working. So that's the only heat that I've got. I've got a Under Armour uh, heat gear base layer on the, on the bottoms and top and then on the top I've got my heated vest uh, and then I've got my regular uh, jacket that I, my black jacket that I typically wear uh, over that. And then of course the climb Badlands Pro on top of that. See, it's now 47 degrees uh, down here. So I can pretty comfortably ride in in the low 40s, uh, even the high 30s uh, for extended periods. I get much too, too much below that and it's, it's my hands start to, to get a little cold regardless. <laughs> We're there. As the sun dropped, so did the temps. So even though I was going south, it did not do much with the temperature. I couldn't have been happier to be pulling into the retro groovy Thunderbird. The Thunderbird is known for its retro vibe and they really do make it feel that way. From the overall decor to the RC Cola and Moon Pies, it's a cool place to grab a nice room. Even free popcorn in the lobby. I was excited to see my son Nicholas just before he was off to class. I had a legitimate coffee from what we call the center of the universe coffee shop. Then I was off to meet up with the guys. Guys, I had a a little bit of a chilly ride on the way down. Got a little dippy going through the fast out of here. <laughs> you we think? We did too. Oh, you think? Yeah. Well, yesterday, I can't it was, imagine. It went anywhere from 35 to 42 degrees the whole way down. When we left North Truck, it was 31. <laughs> it got to the point where I was, I was just, I was like, this is just misery. I just got to deal with it, you know? There was nothing I could do. Right. <laughs> So we're making our way down to Jacksonville as the official start. And I just had to report that I'm now enjoying a lovely 66 degrees ambient temperature. Uh, that's only twice what it was last night, so that's an improvement. It's a beautiful day to ride. Florida's looking bright and sunny. We should be into Florida very soon. Southern Georgia is beautiful weather, a little bit windy, but all in all, this is really shaping up to be a great trip. We just made it into Florida. We stopped at the visitor center, and I'm told that they give uh, free grapefruit or orange juice for those who are coming. So I'm gonna get myself a little orange juice. And, well, what do you know? There it is. How cool is this? Afternoon, would you like grapefruit Afternoon? Or orange juice? Absolutely. Um, I'll have a grapefruit, and my buddy out there, he got a grapefruit, says it's a bit tart, and he wants to try the orange juice. Absolutely. So we're going to give them both a shot. Go. Welcome to Florida. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. that. 
It's actually really good. This is easy enough, man. Come to Florida, they give you drinks. It's all good. So now it's like 67 degrees, 68 degrees. It's perfect weather. So last night, I'm not gonna lie, I got to I got to the hotel and I was thinking, what the world was I thinking? Doing a motorcycle trip in January. But now I'm forgiving myself. I'm happy I've done it. And it looks like it's gonna be a, just a blast. Uh, so we're all not too far from our first stop in Jacksonville. I think we're like 20 something miles out. Here you go, dude. Oh, thank you. I actually went ahead and got the grapefruit. I like it. Oh man, it's I like I like the tart. It's oh, good. I love grapefruit. I like grapefruit, but yeah, grapefruit juice is great. Ah, it's tasty. Tasty, tasty. Cheers to Florida. Welcome to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> is this is this the old fangled GPS? Yeah. Hey. Huh? Just pitch and zoom. Let's see. Suit. Yeah, I, it works. I can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> We finally made it to the park, our official starting point in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, the park was located directly on the water. Really relaxing place. The similarities were obvious to parks in Savannah, Georgia. Now, as you can see, this one located in Savannah is very similar. A lot of films are shot in Savannah and many have scenes in the parks. A lot of students at Nicholas's school end up in a lot of these films. Nicholas was in one just last week. Although this isn't Savannah, you never know who you might run into while in one of these parks. Hello. My name's Chris. Chris Smith. Would you like a chocolate? No, no thank you. I could eat about a million and a half of these. My mama always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I, I'll have one. My mama always says, stupid is, stupid does. There's a diagram on the back of the box. This is a caramel. We spent a little more time than expected at that park and we're pushing it to get to our camping spot before dark, which apparently in Florida is a big deal. What's up, What's up with the uh, slow drivers in the fast lane? Uh, well, historically, every time I see a car that's doing something stupid in another state, by the time I get around him and find out where he came from, it's always a Florida tag, so <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of hope down here, but maybe it's just the guys who try to leave Florida that are, that are bad drivers. Drive. <laughs> Our apologies to all the good Florida drivers. Right. Uh, all tongue in cheek. It turned out to be a really long day and we were all hungry. We all decided on tacos and pretty much the first shop we found one and they really hit the spot. Cute little place. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you 
It's reminding me of the the Shriners guys rolling running around in the little funny cars. <laughs> <laughs> So how do you drink your coffee, sir? Well, I usually like some cream and sugar in it, mm -hmm. but uh, depending on circumstances, uh, I drink it black as well. Oh, um, well, that's good, because... The flavor of this, you know, if you want to quantify it in, in coffee names... Sure, sure. Um, it has uh, light notes of char. Yeah. Um, a little bit of, of smoky ash. Yes. Uh, and, and maybe just a tad of, of um, rubberish. Taste. Oh, 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 so, yeah. so what we're saying is yesterday's Waffle House. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We made it to St. Augustine last night. It is, as you can tell, a beautiful, look at that sunny sky. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. Stayed at the small St. Augustine Inn. And so now we're just kind of getting things going, getting ready to head out to our next location. We've got a lot of cool places planned that, that, that I think are going to be uh, interesting to you. So I'm looking forward to that. We're about to get out of here. We had we're intending to stay at a campground, but in Florida, uh, in order to stay at a campground, you have to like plan in advance. And we didn't get there before dark, and so the ranger had already left, and that left us without the ability to, to get a spot, even though I'm certain here there were probably spots available. As we go around, particularly on, on the Key West side, is not gonna be as easy to get spots, so we're actually still trying to work that one out. But anyway, we are off to uh, get hopefully some more coffee, and we've had a little bit of the the lovely coffee that you have at a motel. And anyway, we're hoping to get some more here down the road. And here we go. Guys, that's it for this episode. Stay with us as we tour the beautiful state of Florida and show you just a glimpse of what it has to offer. If you like the video, by all means, like the video. And this is just the beginning of the series, so subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can know when they come out. We'll see you next time, and remember, make life amazing.